did these rocks come from? Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Brunch Cradle. I'm here today with three of my alternatives. I do collect alternative reborn dolls. Those are non-human. Um, I have many others, but in this video in particular, they are just resting there. One is not dressed. Um, the one on the left, the far left, he is caned. He is Candy Cane. Um, I am doing a 10 spooktacular tag. And one of the questions is about Halloween candy. And Cane here, Candy Cane, has a favorite candy so much so he has it all over himself. And including inside of his fist. <laughs> he just loves it. Um, in the middle is Frankie. He is an Eddie Munstered-inspired alternative. Um, he's, I'll tell you more about him. And then on the far right, I have Lucinda, and she is my vampire baby doll, reborn by babies on the other side nursery, and she is so amazing. Um, one of these days, I'll go th through the details and get them changed. But um, Lucinda and Frankie, they always love to wear like extremely vintage clothing because they're obviously not from this century. And uh, Kane there, he, he is actually also a Christmas alternative themed baby, but um, I still need to find him some things. Uh, he could be a really cute girl or a cute boy. That is one of the things I wasn't sure what he could be, but his name is Kane and I call him he. So I have to find him some wonderful clothes. So I am here for Rebecca's Cloud Kids Reborn Nursery. I will tag her video uh, in a card and down below in the description. And she has 10 questions and... <laughs> I can't wait to answer them. I love doing tags. Rebecca, this is a lot of fun. And I hope to see other videos do this as well. So, um, I need my reading glasses. I'll be right back. Number one. What is your doll's Halloween costume this year? <laughs> I have many reborn dolls. And I do have costumes for them. Rebecca's favorite costume, she is my toddler. Uh, her favorite costume of all is the lion costume. And I do have videos of her wearing that costume. So I'll put some cards in of some Halloween stuff that I've done over the years on my channel and hope that you enjoy. But um, I also have a frog costume for probably my new boy that came into the nursery so far he is nameless i do have a name thinking of maybe jason so actually francis came up with that name so um and i went through some clothes i do have clothes that will fit him they're actually my old son's clothing um so i'm very happy to have a doll that can wear my son's clothes but um yeah i think we'll call him jason so jason will be a frog this year um for the others i actually have alternative babies that are already in costume i have a mummy reborn um i have a ghost baby oh, reborn her name is abigail 
Um, I have some zombie babies. Uh, <laughs> and the list goes on. I have lost fairies, pixie fairies. I have many. So, number two. What candy would... Um, okay, what if our reborns went trick-or-treating? And what kind of candy would they like? Well, Kane's favorite candy are suckers. And a lot of my reborn baby dolls would love to have suckers or lollipops. Especially the kind that have, like, you know, the different colored swirls in them. Oh, they go crazy. They also love licorice. And some of the older ones can handle the jelly beans. I do not give the little ones jelly beans. They can maybe have some licorice to suck on because they have something to grab onto. But the older ones can have jelly beans if they wish. But mostly they all love the sugar chewy kind of candy or the hard candy like lollipops. Number three, describe your favorite Halloween craft. Um, you know what I really love doing around Halloween? Uh, not so much anymore because my sons are older now, but when they were younger, when I was younger, my teens I had, uh, when I babysat or when I took care of my younger brother, I would love to make, um, Halloween food. <laughs> Edible Halloween scary looking food. Um, I remember watching episodes of Roseanne or Home Improvement and they would have different uh, like Halloween parties and all the food table was like so interesting like with green goobly noodles for intestines or um, the best, like, grapes, if you take off the skin off of grapes, it could be eyeballs. <laughs> and the faces on people would be so funny. In fact, I, I, po I recently posted a picture on my Facebook page. Um, <laughs> you take um, a real turkey breast and some crab legs and uh, sausage and you put it all together and it looks like you know, do you know the show Aliens and the I forget what they call them the face sucker the face hugger <laughs> the face hugger um yeah <laughs> it you can make your food look to resemble like brain and guts and like <laughs> it's, oops, it's so much fun like our fingers oh it's fun I so that's my favorite Halloween craft is making edible food Halloween food. So much fun. Um, as for any other crafts, I love making, like for Lucinda, I have uh, headbands for her gothic style headbands. And my Abigail, my gothic little baby girl, <laughs> She, I love making like the baby cradles and like you see the roses there. Um, yeah, when I have the room, I am totally going to have a gothic corner for all my alternative babies and I am very excited about that actually because I do enjoy that style too, I must admit. Number four, which spooky movie or TV show would your reborn doll love to cosplay for on Halloween? Well, obviously, I have my Frankie baby. He is totally Eddie-inspired. Um, I'll move closer. And you can see. So this is my Eddie-inspired Reborn Baby doll. He has the hair. And he has a dark eyelashes and the best part about this this is the uh tasha sculpt or no sorry the ember sculpt by tasha and and we love his finger like that because that is totally francis <laughs> that that is totally francis his middle finger getting ready to like oh yeah <laughs> 
So he is Eddie Mustard inspired. Oh, he's so heavy and so cute. So this is Frankie, though, named after Francis. I did have um, an ember sculpt human with a rooted hair, but over time the paint started rubbing off and I'm really sad about that. And it took me a long time to look for another ember sculpt. And the only one I could find was this wonderful Frankie inspired or Eddie Munster inspired reborn. So I thought, you know what? It's perfect. We love the Munsters TV show. And um like I can call him Frankie. <laughs> Frankenstein, Frankie, Francis, uh Francis's name well, people called him Frankie, but I I hate that name, honestly. And people would call him Frank, and I hate that name. I don't know why I call him Francis, but this little guy is Frankie. Here is one inspired I was telling you about. He is so cute. <laughs> Look at that face. He has candy all over him in his hair and even let's see sorry about the move this he has candy all over look at that oh my goodness what did you get into Kane hey did you get into the candy again yes he loves his candy the artist um Candy Love Sparkle from YouTube, Erin, uh, she also made magnetic uh, candy that can, like, instead of a pacifier, she made, like, um, yeah, uh, anyways, it's, uh, how come I can't talk today? Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, and here I'll show you Lucinda up close. Because she is also, can't move Frankie. Oh, Frankie, Frankie, such a cutie, heavy cutie. Look at her rooted hair, like mono rooted, so gorgeous. And she is gorgeous painted extremely well I got her second hand there, there's like babies on the other side she is amazing with her art and this is her she has like this is her feet and Let's see, show you this mark on her leg. Yeah, she's very well done. And I try and keep her hair curly if I can. But she's so sweet. And I love her vintage clothing so sweet so that's Lucinda and her blood bottle I have a do-it-yourself tutorial this is so old I have to redo it and <laughs> definitely that is many years old <laughs> so the next question what's a funny Halloween story of yours <laughs> I can't think of any funny Halloween story other than maybe when my sons were younger, the look on their faces would be so funny when they got scared. <laughs> but honestly, it didn't happen very much because I am a spooky family. I do enjoy the horror and my kids enjoy the horror. But The only thing that comes to my mind is when I was at university, I lived in the co-ed dorms for four years and, and loved it. If you ever watched college university movies of dorms, it's pretty much how it was. I went there in the early 90s, 
So that would give you an idea of the time frame of... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is getting really uh, sickly. <laughs> um, but anyways, this one year, my best friends and I, of course, you have besties at university, and we really wanted to impress everyone <clears throat> around us. So we decided for that particular Halloween, our first Halloween, that we would go to a Halloween store, a Halloween rental costume store, and <clears throat> pick out something really cool, really amazing. But when we got there, the only thing in our price range were like those <clears throat> oversized Halloween costumes, like those, like nowadays you could buy them for adults nowadays, like oversized teddy bear costumes with the hoodies. <clears throat> the, or like a penguin or <laughs> like you know different animals that's all that they had but I picked out a unicorn one a nice white one and I thought yes white is perfect for me <laughs> I will be a unicorn it had rainbow on it I really loved it so I was a unicorn we were all happy to go to our Halloween dance. It was a Halloween social. Uh, I'm not sure if you have that term in America, but here in Canada, we call them socials. There's either wedding socials or like this is a Halloween social. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sorry. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm trying to make this fast. I'm just waiting. <laughs> So we all went to the social looking very proud, very happy, ready to party on and dance. And we were, we had a really good time. But all of a sudden, these stranger guys started coming up to me and saying that, like, oh, really nice costume. And I thought maybe they were like, you know, not really telling the truth. Because, I mean, come on. I know I don't have the coolest costume. I'm not like the the barmaid outfit over there, the French maid outfit over there, or you know how girls, like, at university co-ed dorms, of course, you can have an idea of what the girls want to wear. <laughs> so I'm thinking, yeah, okay, my costume is really cool, yeah, whatever. But more and more guys came up, and they're like, oh, nice costume, like, I like what you chose. And I'm like, okay. And then finally a guy came up and he said that. And I'm like, I was, I knew him a little bit more. And I said, like, why, why is my costume, like, why is it getting so much attention? Like, is there something wrong with it? He's like, no. He goes, like, what's on your head? I'm like, on oh, my head. I'm like, my costume. He goes, yeah, but you have a unicorn horn up there on your head. And I'm like, yeah. He, he said, like, you're a little horny. Get it? You're horny? And I'm like, oh, my goodness. I was so embarrassed. I didn't even realize uh, why I was getting all this attention from guys. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I guess that was a funny story about myself and kind of inappropriate. But that's what made it funny because here I am, you know me, naive little Brenda. <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, that was my funny story. <laughs> Number six. Now, <clears throat> what design would the dolls choose to have on their jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin? Um, <clears throat> mine would be just like uh, Rebecca. So it would be a happy, cute, scary. Not, not so much like that one. But it would be a cute, like cartoonish, happy girl, like precious moments vibe going on for their Halloween. Number seven, describe your dream Halloween photo shoot with your reborn dolls. Um, <clears throat> mine would be a totally abandoned hospital or asylum. That would be amazing. Rebecca said that she lives in a, like an area where they, they have a lot of haunted houses. <clears throat> and she said that she would try and do a photo shoot in one of them. That would be so cool. I would totally love to see that. But for me, 
up in the north, we don't have anything abandoned like that. And if we do, then it's totally, totally dangerous. <laughs> I would never set foot in an abandoned place where I live. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, but that would be a dream of mine to have it in like a real authentic abandoned hospital or asylum. That would be really cool. Number eight, <clears throat> what is the funniest or scariest decoration in your nursery? Um, <laughs> I re I th probably my mummy reborn <laughs> would actually be the scariest, maybe. I don't know. I have many decorations for Halloween, and I love them all. None of them are too scary for me. Um, I, I don't know. I, I collect alternative dolls. None of them are scary to me. Uh, the funniest decoration? I I never thought of Halloween to be funny. I just I just love it too much. It's, I can't think of anything funny. <clears throat> Every time I'm about to talk, I start coughing. Oh my goodness. Um, but I I. I will link videos of me decorating for Halloween. I haven't really added to my collection a lot because since COVID, it's been really hard financially. I haven't been buying any extras, um, barely at all around. I've been focusing on my money on bills and especially during the time when I was unemployed. So I haven't bought any Halloween stuff. Like today, I bought these pillows for the first time in many years. I've had those roses for many years. This came in a box opening. Um, this isn't really Halloween, but I thought it was suiting. Um, <laughs> so this is the first year that I've been able to buy some extras, but all my other Halloween decorations are on video still to this day. So yeah, check them out if you're interested. Number nine, create a short Halloween tale involving your reborns. <laughs> well, I've done this. Actually, I have a video on my channel and I'll quickly go over it. So it stars Carly. She is my reborn baby girl doll child. And myself and one of my zombie reborns, his name is Riddick. And Riddick, he has this particular uh, hand that summons you. So, so one day in the evening, it was always quiet. We're about ready to get ready for bed. And Carly started hearing something. And it was like tiny little, like... But on the wall, so it was a bit louder than that, kind of like scampering, little tapping, fast tapping sounds on the walls, and she was like, started to freak out, so I went outside and checked, and I didn't see anything, just like, you know, normal cars driving by, the wind, um, it was fall time, so there were leaves on the ground, but I didn't see anything, and I didn't see any animals, that may be Carly, she said she heard it on the wall, so I was checking out the walls, checking out the windows. I didn't see anything. So I came back inside and all of a sudden the light started flickering on and off extremely fast. And it really started to scare Carly. So I searched around the house and I noticed that a few other lights were flickering on and off, on and off. Kind of like an electrical surge. And we're like, like what? What's going on? And... We were being very quiet, trying to listen for the scampering sound on the wall when all of a sudden the doors started rattling. But it was very, very softly and quietly at first, but very fast. And then all of a sudden it went really, really loud and super fast. And then all of a sudden, bang, the doors would slam. And poor Carly, she was so scared. And it was Riddick all along. Riddick and his powers. He was trying to play a trick on us. He thought it was funny. We didn't think it was funny. But he did. And he was summoning everything to make noises to scare us. So that's one little short story. Riddick is a prankster. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and the last one, number 10. 
What's your favorite Halloween tradition in you, with your Reborns? Well, watching Halloween movies is definitely quite up there. Making hot chocolate with whipped cream and yummy sprinkles and marshmallows especially. Um, now, I heard of this. I haven't really done it, but taking a real candle can roast marshmallows. I'm not sure how true that is, so I would definitely love to try it out and see if Carly and Rebecca and Zena and see if they like it and Jason. Jason has to be a part of the crew now of the older Reborn dolls and we'll see if we like it. Uh, and of course making Halloween fun food for everyone. Anyways guys, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for listening and until next time very very soon, hopefully my voice will be better. <laughs> So take care, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, match hand, guys. Match hand. Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you for being here. Bye, guys.